What's up, YouTube? Some R2 here. I want to, I want to, want to make a video, but I want to make sure we keep a positive attitude because this is what this is all about. And, and at the end of the video, we're gonna see why we don't need to keep any kind of negative attitude or any type of negative energy around us. Now, here we have the uh, the storm that hit the northeast this week or uh, past yesterday, whatever it was. And uh, of course, they calling it apocalyptic because they want to push fear, and you know that's how it is. But it is quite an astounding events that have been happening quite recently. These storms have been popping up. One hit Washington a few weeks ago and knocked out power for quite a while. Uh, had one storm that popped up within two hours in Colorado a few weeks ago that dumped massive amounts of hail. They had to rescue several people from from mall area and a whole downtown area in Pueblo, Colorado. Earlier this year we had uh, a hell four feet deep in Texas. I'll post links to these these articles. You know, from storms that just popped up from nowhere, and in a couple of hours they they, they dumped this torrential amounts of water and, and bad weather and lightning and everything else. I want to get into this a little bit further in depth. I don't want to spend too much time on each one of them. But but D posted a great article that I always seek this morning about uh, high energy particles charged in our polar cusp and uh, it goes into quite a bit of information about how highly charged energy particles and clusters fill cavities within Earth's magnetic field. As they come in to our, our magnetic field they fill cavities in the magnetic field. They, these, these clusters of energy are made of including 40 plus KeV electrons, 28 plus protons, and oxygen ions, and that there is evaporated water. That's what that is, and this is filling open cavities in our magnetic field. Now over here on uh, today, on uh, well, this was yesterday, I'm not mistaken, the 26th of July. Summer storms to create new holes on ozone. And uh, says here, storms may create new holes in our protective ozone layer as Earth heats up, bringing increased solar ultraviolet radiation into densely populated areas. Now, we need to understand that, that one of these is not telling us the truth. And, in fact, that the correlation that they're trying to put between the two is quite astonishing. The fact that they're saying that a, that a thunderstorm, these, these pop-up summer storms that have been around forever, it's just an understanding of how meteorology actually works is what we're learning here. It doesn't change meteorology at all. It's the fact where it's coming from. It's what we're learning. And, 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 and these storms create holes in our magnetic field. That's because energy travels up out of the earth and it tra actually travels in both directions. Let's take a look at meteorology for a second. And well, in meteorology, we have what's known as a high pressure system. And that is generally associated with clear weather. And it also creates a clockwise rotation in the atmosphere if you were at above looking down towards the earth. Which, if you look at the right hand rule of, of electric current, that would be indicative of an induce or energy moving inward towards the earth which actually compresses the air molecules and makes the air go down which creates high pressure on the other hand energy that comes out of the earth will flow upward still following the right hand rule of current this would cause a lifting and create openings in the upper atmosphere this would cause a lifting of the atmosphere, which is what we see in, in meteorology, and it's called low pressure. What this does is open the door for the, the moisture that's above us that's condensating from the outside at the level of, of the Birkeley sheet current, where it condenses again, and, and the water rains back down as rain. And... Uh, looking at all this and understanding how all this working the reason I say we should make sure to keep a positive attitude throughout this entire thing and you can take a look at this, uh, this little old video here I love these little science projects you just watch this video you read what he says and you watch it with your own eyes and if you ain't convinced by the end of this little old three minutes why 
you should not have any negative thoughts in your mind during this time of change and there's not much I can do for you at this point so at that note we're going to leave a positive peace and love great big old heads up <laughs>